What's up everyone, Danny Lina back with another War Robots video. So we got the new Pathfinder robot. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some gameplay and I'm just going to talk about this thing. I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Does it break the game? What kind of play style is? Who's it for? How to play it and stuff like that. So we're kind of going to do a gameplay review today. On the second game clip of this video, you're going to see me fight against Adrian Chong. So Danny Lightning versus Adrian Chong. You can see it here first. I'm going to roll the gameplay footage and I'm just basically going to talk about it. And then afterwards, I'll show you the build. I'll tell you my favorite sets of weapons for it and all that good stuff. So far, I got about a good three, four, five. So far, I've probably got about a good six hours worth of gameplay in with this robot in my hangar. So we definitely got a lot of use out of it so far. So I can make a pretty good assessment of what this thing is going to be like at this point. So let's get this thing out there on the battlefield and then I'll show you my build for it. So let's go do it to it. And if you happen to buy something over at the War Robots web shop, use author code Danny Lightning at checkout, all lowercase in one word. That'll support my channel and you might get cheaper prices. Let's get to the gameplay. All right, so let's get this thing started off. And in my opinion, this is basically what you would call a support robot. I think you kind of want to hang back. Now, this has got some really weird, crazy abilities. We'll go over at that after the gameplay when we show you the build. But basically, I think you want to play this as a support to start off with. You just kind of want to hang back, maybe get a few shots in here and there, and use this thing to help your teammate. So basically, when you hit a robot with the ability, it's going to help your robot and it's going to help your teammates. So this thing is basically designed to be a full-blown support robot, but you can get six stacks on it, which will give you about 60% more movement speed and like 120% more damage. And this can also boost your teammates. So if you hit somebody with the ability and your teammate gets a killer assist, or if you get a kill, it gives your robot stacks and it gives your teammate stacks, which is redonkulous. So once you have this thing stacked up, you can kind of get in and use it more of a mid-range fighter. I think there probably will be a few people who try and brawl with it, but I think this robot is a little bit squishy. Let me go ahead and move my camera so you can see my health bar. Let me, let me get that out of the way. Sometimes I forget to move that out of there. But uh, this is just a really fun robot. It starts to get insanely fast. Once you get it stacked up, it becomes crazy, crazy, crazy fast. And the 120% damage is sick. If you run one of those nuclear amplifiers that gives you another 70%, I mean, that's roughly 200% more damage you're getting once this thing is stacked up. Now, right now I'm pretty much stacked. I'm not really sure how many stacks I have yet, but I got a few. We got a couple of kills and yeah, we're just gonna go out here. We're moving at light speed. We just wanna be careful because it is very squishy. This thing dies very easily no matter what you do. So far, I haven't found a way to make this thing tanky, right? There have been a few games where it felt a little bit tanky, but I kind of think that was just maybe the people were running low-level weapons or something. I'm not sure. But once you get uh, once you get charged up, look at the damage, guys. You can come in and you can actually start brawling with this. I mean, if you notice, I do take a lot of damage, so you kind of got to rely on either a healing module or a fade shift to save your butt. But the amount of damage you can do with these weapons or any other set hard hard hitting set of weapons is insane and i'll be honest with you i don't think these new weapons are my favorite weapons for this we will go over my favorite weapons during the build part but i think there's another set of weapons that i like better i'm just playing these because they're brand new and they just came out and they're, they're hitting really hard but something's weird there's just something these weapons have a weird feel that i just don't really like they're really good, don't get me wrong, they're really, really, really good weapons. But there's just something about them that I can't quite put my finger on that I'm just like, eh, they feel strange. There's a weird feel to them. I don't like the way they play. They do work well, they, they do a lot of damage, they fit the robot, but yeah. I mean, we're, we're over here wrecking everybody. We got charged up. I mean, I don't know if these are, you know, maxed out players in this game. I don't know if these are squishy players in this game. I mean, sometimes you go against both, so we will play another game after this. So after this thing dies, we'll just go ahead and roll another game clip so you can see it in another game. And uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you have games like this. Sometimes it dies really fast, so it's hit and miss. Like, I don't always like to show you the games like this where you wreck everybody, but, you know, sometimes those games do happen. But with this robot, I'm kind of getting games where I wreck people somewhat often. So that's why I'm showing you this. I mean, 
some games it dies really quick. Other games it's like this. I would say maybe like, maybe like one out of every five games I destroy everybody. So this robot definitely has the potential to destroy things easily. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one of these games where I actually do wreck everybody with it because it's not hard to do that with this robot. Now, do I think this is going to be some game-breaking destroyer? Yes and no. I mean, the scary thing is what's this going to be like when clans are running multiples? When people have three or four or five of these in their hangar and clans are dropping them all at the same time, that's what I'm a little bit scared of. If there's one or two of these on the battlefield, no big deal, right? Not a big deal. But when you got five of them at the same time, and then when one dies, somebody else drops another one, then one dies, somebody else drops another one, that's going to be interesting to see how that affects the game. That's when things get scary. I really wish they would make some sort of limit where you could only have maybe two of the same robot in your hangar, but so many of these big clans will run five at the same time. It, it, it's crazy. It's redonkulous. It's completely 100% nutso redonkulous. That's all I'm going to say. Nutso redonkuli. Whatever that is. I made that up. Alright, I got to breathe here. I'm out of breath. I'm just talking and not breathing. I'm going to suffocate and die. See, I'm out of breath because my robot's running all over the place. Okay. But yeah, I mean, so far, I'm really enjoying this thing. Now, the first couple of hours I played it, I didn't really care for it. I didn't really like it, but I got that. This took me a minute to get the hang of. All right, so the game ended. My team lost because my team wasn't getting beacons. And this isn't really something I think you can go grab and hold beacons with. Like I said, it's kind of a support. I think if you go to grab and hold beacons with this, you're going to get your butt kicked. But I had 12 kills. 5 million damage, came in first place, I stomped everybody on the other team, but my team was not able to get beacons. But that's the one flaw on this robot in my opinion, is this is not the type of robot you can use to get beacons. So let's pull up another game and go play that. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and drop in over here on Yamantau, and this is kind of one of those robots that you really should be playing from a 5 or a 600 meter distance. So. It may not be a bad idea to play this on the big maps like this, or it may be a good thing we dropped on a big map so we can see it kind of in its natural, natural habitat. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's not a big map. This is designed to be played from a distance, right? Now, the crazy thing though is when you got that little red shield up, we'll talk about this later, but when you got that little red shield up and somebody shoots you, you know, you suppress that person. And I think if they're, if they're 800 meters away, or closer and they shoot you they get suppressed which is pretty crazy then after your uh after a few seconds that little red shield comes back so let's try and get that guy from up here so right now we don't have any charges on this robot so it's kind of weak oh look how much damage i just took so like i'm saying this thing is squishy this robot is very very squishy if there's a reaper crisis back there or a couple of snipers you might have a hard time keeping this alive. Ochi Kochi's, if the Ochi Kochi's ability hits you, it'll wreck this robot. It'll wreck this robot really, really fast. So you gotta be very, very careful. Don't let an Ochi Kochi get close to you. And you gotta watch out for those snipers. Both of those things will take you out very, very fast when you're playing this robot. Now this guy is almost dead. I'm not really sure how some of these people can make their robots so strong. I really don't understand. Like there's a bunch of people shooting this guy. We got, we got him with the squishy ability. We hit him with the squishy squish, so he should be very squishy. And he was super hard to kill, so we just got a kill. And, you know, I got a stack. One of my teammates got the assist. They got a stack. So that helped out me and one of my teammates. Um, yeah, we'll look at those abilities in a second, and we'll try and go over those and explain those the best I can in just a minute. Here comes a... What the heck is... Dude, What is what is that? He's... He's floating. Can somebody explain that? Why was he just floating? He was just like hovering. Dude, you're an Eiffel. You're not a hover. All right, let's try and get this guy. Sorry, I had to burp. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Luckily, his flame... Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, we got him assist. So I, I believe when I get an assist... I'm pretty sure that gives me a stack as well if I get the kill or the assist, but that's only if my ability is currently on the robot, right? 
I'm not sure if my ability was still on the robot. I wasn't paying attention. I just thought about that. Hey, if my ability was on and we killed the guy or got an assist, we probably should have got a stack. Definitely for a kill. I think for an assist. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that ability in a minute just to go over it all. But I know if your teammates get an assist, but I think if you get an assist as well. All right, so let's try and get rid of this guy. These guys got some very strong Ochi Kochis that just don't ever seem to want to die. I'm not really sure what they're doing, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what they're doing. I don't really know what they're doing. Wait a second, Adrian BR. Ah, Adrian's over there. Hey, we're fighting Adrian, guys. We are fighting Adrian. You know, this was uh, this was game re footage I recorded last night. Since I wanted to do more of a review how to play thing, I decided instead of doing this live, I'm just going to, you know, do a voiceover over top of the gameplay to talk to you guys about this stuff. And I just noticed we're fighting Adrian. What's up, dude? What's up, Mr. Adrian? Oh my god, it's Adrian Chung! There's a... <laughs> There's an old video where <laughs> somebody was live streaming Warbots and Adrian got in the game and the guy just threw his arms up in the air and he was screaming like he was so excited. It was it was hilarious. That video was hilarious. That guy went nuts because Adrian was in his game when he was live streaming. Oh man. Like I think Adrian probably still has a video clip of that, but it, it's freaking hilarious. The guy just the guy went nuts. He was just like screaming, oh, it's Adrian. <laughs> oh man, that was a good deal. Anyways, all right, where is, is I can't, I can't see. I don't have my reading glasses on. I think that's Adrian right. Oh yeah, here comes Adrian. All right, guys, I don't know how he did this. I assume he's making a video about this Fenrir because I remember fighting this thing last night. It would not die. Like he just killed me. Look, I'm going to bring in my luchador and I'm going to try and kill him and he has an invincible robot so whatever he did to this thing i assume he's making an ultimate fenrir video or if he already has you might want to go check that out because this is the strongest robot i think i've ever fought against in my life so hopefully this hopefully this game goes on to his video i don't know if it will but look at look at his robot guys it's unkillable adrian chong in the unkillable robot dudes I don't know what he's done to this. I don't know how it's possible, but my Titan Flame Doors won't even phase this ultimate Fenrir. He must have found like the world's craziest ultimate best assist build for this thing because it will not freaking die. I was like, I must have been playing against a cheater. And now that I know it's Adrian, I mean, Adrian's definitely not running any kind of crap, right? Adrian is definitely not cheating. Like he would never do that none of us youtubers would ever do that because you know we're, we're youtubers we have to promote the game and not really promote the game but we have to like show you real fair good stuff you know what i mean you know what i mean whatever but yeah this is just uh this is just insane i mean i don't know how he does it but this just goes to show you that not everybody who has an unkillable robot is cheating because Adrian's not cheating, right? He's not cheating. You can't kill him. So some people will just figure out builds that are redonkulous. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a cheater just because you can't kill him. That's what I'm trying to get at, all right? I'm babbling. I'm rambling on. <laughs> so yeah, he's still not dead. Look, there's, there's another Titan shooting. There's two of us with flamethrowers. There's other people shooting this thing, and it's not freaking dying. <laughs> I don't know what the heck he's doing. I don't know how this is possible, but I'm definitely going to go watch this video and figure out how he built this thing to make it so tough because I've never seen anything like it. This is nuts. This is unbelievable. And it looks like my team is losing slightly, but I think we've got three. We've almost got four beacons right now, so we may be able to win this thing. But the, uh, the deal is... Is it gonna die? I mean, is this thing going to die? The game ended. We won. We weren't able to kill it. Adrian? What the heck, dude? That thing's nasty. That thing's nasty. Like Cleveland Brown would say, that's nasty. That's nasty. I probably don't do a very good 
impression of anything. All right, he was up there with 12.5 million damage. Yeah, I had, oh wait, I had 7 million. I was about to say I had 14 million, but that was the other guy. Adrian rocked it out, guys. You got to go watch that video. If he's if he's making an ultimate Fenrir video, you got to go watch that thing because that was freaking nuts. Completely nutso crazy. All right, guys, so this robot is actually extremely good. It's extremely fun. It's not something I think you're going to pick up and be able to figure out how to play right away. This robot took me a few hours to get the hang of it, but once I got the hang of it, it it's pretty freaking awesome. So first, let's go over the ability, and then we're going to show you guys the build. So after you hit a robot with the ability, it's supposed to lock them down, and it marks them with a special mark that increases incoming damage. So basically, it's a really strong death mark plus a lockdown. When the ability is active, if you or one of your teammates get the kill or the assist, they'll actually get the hunter ability, and that lasts until the game ends. So the track ability helps out you and it helps out your teammates. So when that ability is active, if you get the kill or assist or your teammates get the kill or assist, you both get a boost or a buff. All right. And the hunter is what you get, which is a 20% damage bonus, a 10% movement bonus. And I guess you can get that up to six times. So that is 60% movement speed and 120% damage if you're able to get six stacks on that. So let's just say your teammate got six assists or you got six assists or your teammate got six kills where you were, where, well, you were using this ability on an enemy, you guys would both get crazy buffs. So that is pretty insane. That is insane. That ability is nuts, right? Completely nuts. Now, how much it suppresses them? I believe it was said it was by like 90% suppression. It doesn't say on here, does it? So it says the track ability has ability effect 40% increase in damage received, 10% repairable durability, and 5% repairable gray damage. So it also does that. It's got a 600 meter range. It lasts for six seconds. It's got a 12 second cooldown. The ability effect is 40% reduction in damage dealt. 5 per second ability cooldown, 5 second ability cooldown, 800 meter range, and this is the one that gives you the shield. 800 meter range, 1 charge max, and a 12 second cooldown. So basically, once you get shot with the shield, you suppress people, yada, 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 and then 12 seconds later, you get your shield back, and then the next person who shoots, you get suppressed. That's a little, that's a little bit unclear whether if they're closer or further than 800 meters, they get suppressed. That part's a little bit unclear, so one or the other. There is a lot going on with this robot and it's a little bit confusing, honestly. I think a lot of people are gonna be very confused as to what this thing does because there's so much going on here. It's nuts, this this robot kinda does it all. It, it's, it's a crazy person. It's a crazy robot, I should say. All right, so we got the note John Ostrid pilot, which when using the active ability, Pathfinder temporary disables the target's energy shield. So basically this gives you a shield breaker as well. So you take down the enemy's shield, which is ridiculous. We got stubborn warrior. We got armor expert. We got guidance operator, which I don't even know why that's on there. I'm probably going to change that to something else eventually. We got Roadhog, we got Death Survivor, we got Wonder Worker, and we've got Mechanic. The reason I left that on Guidance Operator is that's one of the free skills it gave me. And when I look through these skills, I don't really see anything else that I really want on there, right? There's some nice skills, but I'm not really sure what I want to use for the last skill yet. So I'm just going to leave that on there until I decide 100% because most of the skills that are left are just kind of okay or so-so skills none of them really jump out me and make me go yeah i want that skill i need that skill so i don't know i might even just do one to give it extra damage maybe like adamant gunsmith or something like that i'm not sure what i'm going to choose for the last skill yet but i am definitely going to replace guidance operator at some point because that's just kind of that doesn't even help this robot so I'm currently running a nuke amp and a mune amp and a repair amp. I think those are the absolute best combo of, of modules. I did try two immune amps, two repair amps, but I think I like it better where you have one of each. That seems to really work well on this robot. So if you can't get immune amps and repair amps, you can still buy a nuke amp with your resources and then maybe throw two balance units on it or maybe throw an armor kit in a last stand or something like that if you don't have these modules. 
I think a advanced repair module or a uh, phase shift would be really good on this robot. I'm kind of thinking phase shift might be a better choice. So you might want to try both and see which one you like better. I do have a paint job on this guy that gives him another 5% durability. So that's pretty cool. So when it comes to alternate sets of weapons, I really did enjoy playing the atomizers on this, but those only have a 500 meter range. But three hazards has been my favorite set. I like these better than the new weapons so far. Three hazards on this thing is brutal. It's nasty. It's got 600 meter range. It's just really, really, really good. So if you do get this and you don't have the new weapons yet, I would suggest throwing three hazards on that. You can build those in the workshop. They're just top notch, amazing weapons. And we do have the new drone, which is actually pretty crazy. This thing has a built in weapon. It's got a 600 meter range. This thing does 3,680 damage. It freezes people. It is a crazy drone. Once you fully accumulate a freeze on somebody, it slows people down big time. I'm not really sure how much it slows them down by, but you know, it's got a 600 meter range, second, seven second reload time and five second effect duration. And it, it's pretty good. I think this drone's only really gonna work well on this robot. And we'll tell you why in a second. So on deployment, you get another 5%, uh, that's what, movement speed? So you get 5% movement speed on deployment. So here's the one. After the effect of suppression, freeze, or death mark are applied to your enemy, your robot receives defense points. So it's going to get 95 defense points, which is something like... So 95 defense points is 48.7% defense points, meaning you will take 48.7% less damage. And then the drone has this final ability that protects you from gray damage. So you're going to take 90% less gray damage. But the thing is, this is only going to work on this robot or a couple. You have to have counter suppression, which is where you, you get shot and then you suppress the enemies. So I think there is maybe one, other, one or two other robots where this ability is going to work on. So this particular skill on this drone is only going to work on this robot and maybe one or two others. I can't remember offhand which ones have counter suppression, but I'm pretty, pretty sure there's another robot where when you get shot, it suppresses the enemy. So I believe that's what the counter suppression is. Pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but I think that's counter suppression. So this isn't going to be a skill that works on the majority of robots. This particular skill on this particular drone is only going to be good for this one and maybe a couple others. So that's something to keep in mind if you're throwing this drone on other robots. But you will get the uh, you will get the ice rocket gun, the extra speed, and the defense points. So even without that gray damage protection, this drone is still going to be really, really good on any robot. It's just not going to get that last skill. Now, I don't think this is going to be the best straight up brawling robot in the world. So if you if you want to go out there and you just want to brawl, I'm not 100% sure that this robot is going to be for you. Because when you drop it in the first the first little while, I think you really need to hang back, play it as a support, wait till you get the robot charged up and then use it as kind of like a mid range fighter. I don't want to I don't ever want to use this as a in your face two inches away from you brawler because it takes damage so fast and it gets so squishy it dies very easily so i don't think this robot is going to be something you really want to brawl with but this is definitely a top-notch support this is going to be great for supporting your teammates helping your teammates get killed is going to be great for team deathmatch it does seem to do pretty well for tdm in a one-on-one -on -one situation but when there's a team fight and there's several people shooting at you that that's rough it will be dead as a doornail before you know what happened if you have if you're not really careful with it and you don't play it carefully so yeah it's not an easy robot to keep alive now i don't know if you threw a different drone on there if maybe you could find a different drone that gave it a bigger health boost or something but uh yeah so far i really like this thing i don't think this robot's going to be for everybody and the main question here is is this going to break the game is this going to be the new meta I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of people running it. Are we going to see multiple? I, I bet we're going to see at least one or two per hangar in the, in the top squads. I'm not really sure if we're going to see people running three, four, or five of these. It, we're not really sure. We won't know exactly how this affects the game completely until they really, you know, get this into squad play and we see what happens when clans are running multiples. That's when we're going to really get to see. So it's a little too early to know how this is going to affect the game. 
it could be a huge deal. It might not be a big deal at all. We might just be like, oh, that ain't nothing, right? That ain't nothing. But if there's one or two of these on the battlefield, I think you're still going to be able to fight against it. But what I'm a little scared of is what happens when they start, start dropping five of these at a time and they're coordinated and they work together. I think that's going to be a little bit scary. Even if they drop like two of those and drop two brawlers, I think that's going to be a scary deal. And there's a pretty good chance it could be game changing, but we won't know for sure until we start seeing that type of thing happen. Not enough people have it yet, but give it like three or four or five days. They're going to be all over the place, I bet. And then we're going to find out if this is going to turn into the next meta. Is it going to be the next big thing? Is it going to break the game? Is it going to make people rage quit? We'll find out. We don't know yet, but yeah, that's pretty much the deal. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Maybe drop down the video's description. You'll see some affiliate links, some ways to help support the channel. You'll see some links to some game news and all kinds of good stuff you might be interested in checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have a great day, and we will catch you next time. See ya.